The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey there, gang. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are in the right spot for Master Your Speaking Fees Once and for All. We've got some early arrivers here, so great to see you. Let's see who's on the list here. We've got uh, Amy, Andrew, Billy, great to see you. Bob and Bob, Brett, Brian, Charlie, Cupid, Dan, Daniel, Diane, Eddie, great to see you. Elise, Jane, Jen, Jessica, John, June, Ken, Lori, fantastic. Can everyone see my title slide? And can you hear me okay? A little AV check as we get going. Just pop a yes in the question box if everything is coming across loud and clear for you. And uh, Michelle Johnson, great to see you. Nadia says yes. Ken, Billy, Victor, Jane, Lori, fantastic. Dan, Brian, Natalie. Super. Andrew, Eddie, Charlie, August, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I have some really cool stuff here planned for y'all. So I'm looking forward to getting started here in two minutes. Um, where are people dialing in from? Let's just do a little quick geography check. Where's everyone in, uh, where in the big wide world are you uh, sitting right now? We've got London, Michigan, Victor's in Oregon, Natalie in Chicago, Nadia in Montreal, Billy, of course, in Louisiana, Jane in LA, Diane's in Pennsylvania here with me, Brian's in San Francisco, Amy in Kansas City, Michelle again from LA, Louis from Toronto, Kleber uh, from Brazil, welcome. Carlan, great to see you in Orlando. Dan in Colorado, another Los Angeles person. Cupid, Madison, Wisconsin, Memphis, Tennessee. Um, Thomas from New Jersey. Michael in New Hampshire. Silvana near Ottawa. Eddie's in Mexico. Wow, that's exciting. And then John in Ohio. Cool. Wow. We've got the Global Village right here. And we're talking about speaking fees. So it's going to be great. Fred's in New York. And Charlie from Wichita, Kansas, home of Pizza Hut. Little known fact, but thank, thank you for sharing that. That's great. All right. Well, I've got the top of the hour here. Why don't we dive in? And we will get right down to business. So this is Master Your Speaking Fees Once and For All. And uh, just to make sure that you are in the right spot, who this is for, anyone who sells their expertise, knowledge, or wisdom. Meaning speakers, consultants, trainers, coaches, experts, authors, course creators, information marketers, the folks that we lovingly call our tribe of fan, fans and followers, speaking-driven professionals. Speaking-driven professionals. In short, if you use your knowledge to solve a major business problem, this is for you. Our game plan for today, we're going to go through the economic reality of speaking fees, talk about the dangers of charging too little, how to put your fee in perspective, which hopefully will be a permanent mindset shift for you, how to avoid some pricing landmines that we see all too often, some exact word-for-word -word scripting on how to present your fee in light of the outcomes that you deliver, and then some next steps to help you make it happen. As always, we're going to have a big Q&A at the end, so if you have questions based on any of today's teaching, any of today's concepts and principles, you want a customized answer for your exact situation, please hang out till the end. And we also, of course, have our usual ethical bribe that we're going to give to folks that hang out until the bitter end. And unlike, unlike most of our webinars, I do have something for you to buy. 
So something really cool at 90% off. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get rolling. And then we'll do a little bit of a walkthrough about what that is at the end, right before our Q&A. And yes, Jim Cramer from Mad Money is my spirit animal. He's a wild man, crazy man, gives smart advice and helps you make more money. Hopefully, I, I reflect some of that mojo as well. <laughs> wild, crazy man who's here to help you make more money. All right. So quick poll in the question box. I'm curious. We have a very wide range of expertise because I know some of your smiling faces here. But what is the highest fee that you've been paid for speaking or training or consulting or a seminar? Just what's the highest single fee? And put that dollar amount in the question box. What is the highest fee that you've been paid up to this point? And I'm curious what that overall range is. And uh, we'll just have a look here in the answers. Highest fee. So we've got 4K, 15K, 10K, 20,000, 5,800. I love the 5,800 exact number there. 2,500, 3K, 12,500, 3,000, 4,000, 2,500. 10K, 34, 15K. Wow, $450, $7,000, 6,500, 5,500, 10K, 7,500 a day, zero. Okay, thank you for your honesty, everyone. 10K, 10K, and a couple more 10Ks, 500 bucks, 7,500, zero. So we have the range. We have the full range here. This is totally fantastic. Really, really good. And, uh, Thank you, everyone, for reporting in. So we are going to help you elevate and escalate that no matter where you are, from zero to hero, from hero to superhero, or from superhero into the stratosphere. Because uh, we've worked with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of speakers and experts and consultants. I've seen many, many, many that charge too little, no matter what that number is. That's a relative term, of course. I have rarely, if ever, seen anyone charge too much. <laughs> we'll, we'll unpack that as we get rolling here as well. So as an expert who speaks, honest answer, we're not going to name names on this one either. Are you 100% happy with the financial results that you've generated in terms of both top line sales and because, of course, it's not what you make, it's what you keep, your personal income, and the level or the caliber of clients that you are working with. And we'll talk about how to price yourself out of the broke market, price yourself into the high fee market. But right now, just taking your temperature, yes or no, binary question, are you 100% happy with the financial results that you've been able to generate so far at whatever fee level you might be? Yes or no answer here. Why for yes and for no? And let's see where the, the number here. We've got no with a whole bunch of exclamation points, a couple more no's, nope, no, no, no. Well, this, of course, makes sense. That's why you're here with me. That's why you're here with me. So thank you. Um, we have nope, unhappy with lack of consistency. Oh, that is such a great word, David. So thank you for sharing that. Not yet. No, 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 no. I'm not seeing a single yes. Wow. Okay. So again. We're here to fix that. We're here to help you with that. Totally appreciate the transparency and the honesty. Um, if not, and apparently everyone is in this not category, looking at everything that you've got, all your assets, all your wonderful gifts, all of your liabilities, your blind spots, what do you think is the number one thing that's keeping you from, there's that magic word, consistent financial success? What's the number one thing in your estimation that's keeping you from that consistent? I love that David mentioned the word consistently. I, I, I can do it once in a while, but I can't do it consistently. What's the number one thing that you think is keeping you from consistent financial success? Please pop that in the question box and let's just take a quick, quick group poll about that as well. Man, some of these are great. Client pipeline. Uh, experience, limiting belief, amen times 10, reaching qualified clients. 
sales ability, consistent marketing, poor marketing, finding the right clients, I can't sell when I'm delivering, focus and consistency, lack of a consistent system, packaging and recognition, understanding of target market, having a system, um, knowledge of systematized marketing, lack of marketing, I'm unknown, lack of leads, false belief that I don't, let me finish what that says, false belief that I don't deserve it. I love that we're saying that it's a false belief and we'll talk about some belief systems and help you reset that belief later on. Marketing, speaking as a part of the business, um, pipeline development, not sure where to start, creating and following a system. Man, you guys are using all the right words here. Procrastination, finding clients willing to see the value and pay the big bucks, which we're gonna fix today. Uh, can't get enough clients, so it's a quantity thing. Uh, me, <laughs> I am the number one obstacle. I'm the number one person in my way. Process of finding the right clients, skills and knowledge, smaller speaking budgets, new area of expertise, not great at sticking with a proven process. Wow, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant answers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, really, really good. All right, well, we're gonna get on our way to fixing all of that. I'll tell you a quick story before we even hop in. Um, I worked with the speaker a uh, number of years ago and she had varying levels of success and changed her niche and changed her topic a couple of different times. And she says to me, you know, David, I'm, I'm just stuck. She had a lot of speaking experience, a lot of expertise. She changed markets. She says, David, I'm just totally confused about the speaking fees. I've charged $1,500. i have charged $15,000. I don't know what my fee should be. You tell me. Now, imagine having charged $1,500. And this was all, this wasn't like, oh, over the course of my career. This was in the last 12 months. In the last 12 months when we were having this conversation, she was taking some gigs for fifteen hundred. She was finding some gigs for fifteen thousand. She had no firm north star about what the fee was that she deserved, what the value was that she de delivered to her clients. So she was like a cork bobbing in the ocean, and she was totally unanchored from her marketplace value. This is one of the things that we're totally going to fix for you today on today's masterclass. Will you take me up on the crazy 90% offer that I'm gonna share with you in a couple of minutes or not? But we're gonna do a little bit of teaching, a little bit of uh, a mindset reset, and a whole bunch of examples and things to help you. And that's whether you, whether you choose to invest in my little 90% off special offer or not. So let's talk about three scary fee mistakes. And I want to know which one is prevalent for you. Maybe it's one, maybe it's another, maybe it's all three, who knows. But here's the ones that we see so often. Number one, I don't know what to charge. I just, I literally have no, no reference point, no objective reference point for what to charge in the speaker expert marketplace. Number two, I know what I should be charging and I know I charge too little. I'm playing small ball. I'm playing small potatoes here. I'm keeping it safe. I'm, I'm keeping the fee low so that I don't overstep my, my mindset here. So I know I charge too little. Number three, I start out charging a good fee, but I always end up caving on price. And sometimes that includes caving on price down to zero, where you should be getting a five, ten, fifteen thousand dollar fee, you end up doing it for much, much less, or sometimes you end up doing it for free. So which one is yours? Either you don't know your objective marketplace value, you do know it, but you consistently undercharge for whatever reason that we're going to fix, or do you end up charging a good fee on the front end, but then being negotiated and bargained down to zero or to a fee that is way lower than you would like? So pop in the question box one more time. Don't know, too low, or cave. Don't know, too low, or cave. And I'm curious which, which ones are prevalent, what uh, is going to get the winning vote here. Uh, number two, so no, I charge too little, too little, too little. Don't We have one don't know, two don't knows. I'm in the don't know how much to charge category, don't know. Number two, don't know, don't know. 
Too Little and Cave, all three, Don't Know, Too Low. Wow, it's really across the board. Uh, a mix of all of them, says Amy. Thank you. Uh, Wayne says Too Low. John is Don't Know. Sarah is Cave. Uh, Nathan and Larry Don't Know. Um, Steve, Lori, okay. And again, we're here to fix that. This is why you're here. This is why I'm here today to help you fix that and get a good grip on this so you can do it and you can do it consistently and start to pull the nose up on the revenue airplane. Whoops, where am I going here? My goodness, slide's gone wild. All right. Now, once you do know, here is what can happen. Uh, our client, Glenn Carver, came through our program. He says, I delivered two free talks to two CEO groups last month, as you suggested, that generated a $2,500 gig and a $5,000 gig. The $2,500 gig should turn into my first long-term client. Keep you posted. Also, I quoted my keynote fee at $7,500 for the first time. So once you are clear on what the number should be, what the number is, and you can quote it, and you can quote it clearly, firmly, boldly, and consistently, you will start to generate momentum. And what we always say is that action leads to traction, traction leads to momentum, and then momentum leads to results. If you're like my other client who said, oh, David, I really don't know, 1,500, 15,000, you tell me, right? Having an anchor point for your fee from which you can negotiate both up and down. Think about that. Negotiate up. When most people think negotiate, they think negotiate down. I want you to be able to negotiate up by adding value, adding services, adding options to your core fee, whether that is for a keynote seminar, training, coaching, consulting, online program, whatever it might be. Uh, but the consistency is what will give you the bravery and the bravery will let a different number leave your mouth. And I often tell my clients like Glenn, I said, you know, the difference between a $5,000 speaker and a $10,000 speaker, it's the, a different number leaves their mouth. That is it. And we're going to talk about unpacking some of the imposter syndrome and some of the other mindset challenges that might be holding you back a little bit later. But it is really about you being clear first and you being the first person to buy that fee. You being fully committed and fully convinced. I love the word convinced because convinced comes from the word conviction, that you have a conviction that you're worth it and they're getting a bargain at whatever fee level you happen to be. We've got people on here from $500 all the way to $20,000. Your conviction that you're worth it is going to transfer to your buyers. Very, very important. All right. Now, here is the something cool. And I know people are busy. They're running around. You might be on your phone. You might be on the road. You might be in a hotel room. You might not have time to stick with us till the end. I want to make sure you get a little preview of this. If you go to speakerprofitblueprint.com, speakerprofitblueprint.com, I'm gonna walk through this later towards the end, but if you want kind of a eat dessert first, we are doing a special webinar 90% off pricing on this program. So you can go there, open up a tab, check it out, scroll through. You don't need to play my video because then you'll hear my voice twice once on this webinar and once on the video, but scroll through, keep a tab open to Speaker Profit Blueprint. We'll walk through what that is, how it works. If you want to hop into it now because you have to zip off, that's great, but we're going to come back to this. I'll keep that URL on the couple of slides here as we go through. Just wanted to make that offer to you right here, right now, in case people have to, you know, time crunch and you're at an airport, or you're in a hotel and you're about to zip off here. I did not want you to lose the opportunity for this something cool 90% off offer. So that's there. Speaking fees, one of the big myths is that speaking fees are random. Speaking fees are just, you know, pulled out of thin air. And they are not. Speaking fees reflect the economic reality of the value that you deliver. 
And we're going to dig into this here in a couple of minutes in a couple of different ways. But please understand, speaking fees are not random. Speaking fees reflect the reality of the value that you deliver to your clients and your audiences. Once you're connected to the value, you will be crystal clear on the fee. Let me repeat that. Once you're clear on the value, you will become crystal clear on the fee. You will, you will quote it loudly, proudly, consistently. Uh, you will get it more often than you will ever have to negotiate, bargain, chip away, and erode your profit margin. And that's where we're aiming for at the end of today's masterclass. The number one biggest myth is my fee is dependent on their budget. So when my client says 1,500, 15,000, I don't know, you tell me, she was talking to buyers that could only afford 1,500. And she said, yeah, I'll do it for 1,500. If she found a client that could afford five or 6,000, great. Five or 6,000 is your budget. Five or 6,000 is my fee. She found some $10,000 budgets. Great. $10,000 is your budget. $10,000 is my fee. You see where this is going. This is crazy. This is crazy talk, my friends. So please, please, please. Your fee is never dependent on their budget. I'm going to stop, dramatic pause, let that sink in. Your fee should never, ever, ever be dependent on someone else's budget. Think about it. When you walk into the BMW dealership and you have a Toyota budget, do the BMWs suddenly get cheaper? They don't. They really don't. What the BMW sales team does in any given dealership is they are looking for BMW buyers with a BMW budget. You walk in there with a Toyota budget, you're probably not going to leave with a car. You're probably walked into the wrong room. You probably walked into the wrong dealership because the cars don't get cheaper depending on the budget that you have to buy a vehicle. Here's what it takes to have that very strong, very clear, very firm fee mindset. And this is always a consistent pattern among all of our clients and all of our students. It takes resolve. You need to be committed and decisive. You need to take action and you need to stop waiting to get lucky. Stop waiting for the right clients to accidentally, magically out of the blue fall into your lap. You need to craft your exact plan and get some help in figuring out the exact steps so that you can make it happen. Talk to the right clients with the right language to articulate the right kind of value that 100% supports your fee. You do that and you win. Now, let's talk about the Oscars. Leading up to the Oscars or really any award ceremony, you know, name, name your favorite awards. Often leading up to this, there is the famous will win should win, right? So you say, well, here's what's going to happen. This person is owed an Oscar because they had a great performance here and they were overlooked. So they're probably going to win. The person who deserves it, though, the person who should win is this other person over here or this other movie or this other director or this other actress or whomever it might be. So there's the famous kind of will win, should win breakdown when you're looking at any awards program. I'm going to translate this into our world. What should you charge and what will you charge? So I want to unpack this disconnect between what you're charging and what you're getting right now. So I want you to put in the question box two numbers. You know you should charge the first number, but you will charge or you typically charge the second number. So an example of what I'd like you to type in the question box is if you should be getting $7,500 every single time for every single speech, um, seminar, workshop, keynote, training day, you should charge $7,500. It's S for should, $7,500, and then 
I, you know, I always end up charging a 5K, 5,500. So W, which means will charge 5K. And I'd love to see the spread. I'd love to see the, the gap because we're going to close that gap today. We're going to close this gap today for you right here, right now. But what is your should charge number? And what is your will charge number? And for some people, it might be the same. And great, God bless you. Let's move both numbers up. But I'm curious, what is your should charge versus will charge? And what's the gap that we can close for you? All right, so we got 5,500, 2,500. We've got um, 5K, 1.5K, 7,500, 3,500, 8,500, 5K, 7,500, zero. Ooh, okay. Uh, 8,000, uh, 10 and 5, 5,000, 1,500, 5,000, 5,000. That's good. So that's the same. Uh, 7,500, 2,500. Um, 9,500, 5,500, 15K, 7,500, um, same as you listed. Okay, so 7,500, 5K, uh, 1510, 525, 10,500, 4,500, um, 20 down to 10. All right, good, 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 good. You guys are getting the spirit of this. Fantastic. 10K, 6K. Uh, great. And then uh, Dion says, thank you. You just gave me the confidence to say no to a partnership fee um, that, that uh, you were being offered. So good for you. Good for you. Part of getting the right fee is saying no to the wrong fee. Let me repeat that. I know it's profoundly simple, but it's very important. Part of getting the right fee is developing the muscle and the strength and the gumption to say no to the wrong fee. And we'll talk more about that later on today's training as well. Okay, let's talk about the five levels of fee. And this is according to meeting planners, specifically from Smart Meetings Magazine. Uh, this is the people who hire us. It is the mental perception of the fee level and relative to the quality of us as a professional, as an expert who speaks professionally. And they listed five levels of fee in the Smart, Magazine, Smart Meetings Magazine article. Unpaid speakers, the buyer perception, again, this is a direct quote from the magazine, mediocre, just starting out. 1,000 to 2,500, you get what you pay for. Ouch. Ooh, painful. 2,500 to 5K, transition from part-time. So even at that fee level, they still think you're a dabbler, an amateur, a part-timer. You're not really serious. 5K to 10K, now you're hiring a true professional. That's in their words. These are not my words. This is straight from Smart Meetings Magazine. And then 10K and up, that's where you've got your New York Times bestsellers, your celebrities, your sports figures, your marquee names, people with a presidential last name, et cetera. So where do I want you? I want you right here. I want you at a minimum, at a minimum, to be charging a serious professional fee of 5 to 10K. And we've got people on here who are at 15, people are on here who are 20. And that's great. And that's where you need to be. That's where you need to stay. That's the fee that you need to be quoting. And that's the fee you need to be getting. And if you're doing less than that, then you there's some clarity or mindset or value discrepancy that we're going to unpack right here in a couple of moments. But that's where I want you to be. Anything less than that, and your, your pricing is undermining your professional reputation. Let me repeat that. If you charge less than 5 to 10K, then that pricing, that lowball pricing that comes from whatever mindset funkiness might be going on is undermining your perceived expertise and it's undermining your perceived professionalism, which we don't want. I worked with a client named Nancy. She was a fantastic speaker. She lived up in Buffalo, New York. She was complaining to me when she came in. You know, all I'm getting is this low fee, no fee nonsense. I'm getting, you know, this low fee gig after gig after gig. This is all I'm able to find. Uh, I can't get out of Buffalo. I'm doing these local gigs in my backyard. The ladies auxiliaries charging, you know, paying me $300. I'm at the local chamber for 250 bucks. 
I'm doing a program at the pizza place for $400 in the library basement for $300. What I said to her, I said, Nancy, that's not the problem. The fact that all you're finding is these low fee and no fee gigs, that's really not the problem. The problem is that you're taking them. The problem is that you're taking them. And now you're telling yourself that you are a low fee, no fee speaker. So I sort of had a come to Newman meeting with her. And I said, here's the problem. If you keep doing this, you have no context, no comparison, and no firsthand knowledge of what a good client would actually pay you based on the marketplace value that you're delivering. And the moment that that light bulb got turned on, she stopped looking and stopped finding these low fee, no fee gigs in her backyard. And she was able to elevate and escalate her fees because as soon as you price yourself out of the broke market, you start to price yourself in to the serious professional market. And we'll talk more about that, how that works in a moment. Tell you a quick story from my own personal background. I was doing a program for QVC, the big home shopping network here. This was 15 years ago, back in 2005. I had a sit down meeting with the vice president of learning and development. I had a self published book. I thought I was the bomb. I thought I was the man. So I had some pretty big, pretty big head coming into this. Um, I presented a $6,000 fee, and she had this sharp intake of breath kind of like I just gave her a heart attack of some kind. And then the next words out of her mouth were the magic. She said to me, well, David, we're not used to paying any more than $4,500 for a one-day program. Listen to that language. We're not used to. It's not unusual. It's not weird. It's not an outlier. We're not used to paying any more than $4,500 for a one-day program. Now, this was 15 years ago. You do a little reverse engineering of the uh, you know inflationary numbers today that would be fifty five hundred and ninety three dollars and seven cents so she was totally comfortable paying a no name no brand nobody local yokel trainer speaker like me forty five hundred dollars flash forward to today's money that's fifty five ninety three oh seven so I have a little reality check for you Got a little wake up call here. If your number is below that, and some of you it is, and some of you it's not, why aren't you charging at least what low level, no name trainers and speakers like me were charging and getting 15 plus years ago? Going back to that Smart Meetings magazine, it's that five to $10,000 sweet spot at a minimum, at a minimum. Our folks here like Eddie and Chris who are 15K, 20K, great. My question to you would be, how long has it been 15K? How long has it been 20K? Is it time to move that up a notch? But at least 45, 55, 7,500, when you hear a buyer 15 years ago say, we're not used to paying any more than $4,500, and here you are charging one, two, three thousand, four, whatever it is, we need to move this up and we need to move this up right here, right now, as soon as possible and make it a consistent habit for you to start charging in line with your marketplace value. Now, once you get this dialed in, within two weeks, I used your material to close a speaking engagement for 5K. I used your exact coaching and tools to sway the client to choose me when their board voted on a keynote speaker. I knew I needed help with sealing the deal once I had a client on the line. I now know how to do this with every prospect going forward. Because in Lisa's case, she had such a firm, clear picture of her marketplace value that she knew that going out for anything less than 5K, which was her fee, at that time, and she was having trouble getting two, three thousand dollar gigs, but you know, prior to this, uh, take that number, multiply it by two, multiply it by three, multiply it by four. If that's your fee level, that's the fee you should be getting consistently, and you should know 
how to articulate the value and the impact and the results and the outcomes of what you do. There's only three reasons that you're not earning the fee that you deserve. Number one is no clear business model or revenue model, or it keeps shifting and changing. Number two is low self-worth, low self-esteem, meaning that you're trying to come up with random pricing in a vacuum, or no intelligent prospecting, meaning that you're not sure where the good prospects are. And some folks mentioned that earlier, don't know where to find good clients, don't know where to find good prospects, don't know how to do my, you know, basically uh, prospect research. So I'm not talking to broke people all the time, no intelligent prospecting and or no proactive sales process. And again, if you want to solve all three of those problems, that speaker profit blueprint offer that is online and open for you right now that we'll talk about later um, is a great solution for that at speakerprofitblueprint.com. But those are really the only three reasons I've ever seen with any client, with any speaker, any trainer, any coach, any consultant that we've ever worked with. It's one of these three things. Maybe it's two out of three. Maybe it's all three. But there's really nothing else in your way other than these three reasons that we're going to unpack and depack and, and repack and make sure that you're clear. Having showed you just that much, I want you to type in in the question box your new fee that you're committing right here, right now. What's your new fee? And then give me one word on how that feels. Give me an emotion word like, you know, um, firm, clear, elated, excited, um, worth it. Uh, type in your new fee that you're going to start to quote and start to get consistently. And then give me one emotion word or one description word on how that feels to really own that number. Own that number. Quote it loudly, proudly, consistently, and often. And let's see what the answers are. I, uh, this, is, this is where we start to have some transformations and some ahas. So we've got 5K and daunting. Okay, good honesty there. $7,500, good. $7,500, yes, with an exclamation point. $5,700, worthy. 10K, awesome. 5,500, liberating and exciting. 7,500, set and clear. 8,000, deserving. 10K, empowered. 15K, congruent. 7,500, minimum, feels priceless. I love that. 7,500 and clear. 8,500, and Teresa's using my favorite word here, fantabulous. 9,500, elated. 5,000, hero. 10K and up, awesome. Another, another liberating at 5,500, 15,000 optimistic, 5,000 exciting, 22,000 uh, uh, and confident, uh, 7,500 and huge bargain. Yes, 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 absolutely, Wayne, couldn't agree more. Laura says five, 5K five and wow, this is surreal. $5,500 and good. Joanna is $7,500 powerful. Terry is 10K with pride. Wow, these are so good, my friends. So, so good. 9,500 and confident, says Kevin. 9,500, says Eddie. 5,000 and worth it, says Kathy. 5,000 and totally worth it, says Patricia. 5K and professional, says Silvana. Fantastic. So let's talk about how to back that up. So having the number, which is a fact, having the emotion word, right, which is coming from the heart, how do we wrap that up into a market-facing value proposition that prospects will say yes to more often than no, and that you'll be able to tie that fee to the massive value that you deliver? So here's what I want to be an outcome from today's training that you turn this around starting right now in just a matter of weeks. No more small potatoes thinking, no more small potatoes doing, because doing okay or treading water financially was not your initial dream when you started your speaker or expert business. How much should you be earning? At a minimum, I believe that experts and thought leaders like you should be earning just as much 
as a family physician, a general practice family doctor in the U.S., according to payscale.com, averages $186,600 per year. If you're making less than that, you are underpotentializing your fees. For some of you, it might be two or three times that number. For the 10K, 15K, 20K folks, it should probably be two or three times that number. But that's doctor money. And that's just the average general practitioner doctor money. Here's a big turnaround also for your fee setting mindset. You are not paid hourly. This one really makes me crazy. Um, when I started out in the business back in 2002, I studied fees very, very closely. I looked at all kinds of speakers bureaus, including the Washington Speakers Bureau, which is arguably the premier speakers bureau in the U.S. I browsed around and I didn't see any prices on the Washington Speakers Bureau website. I just saw some reference to a level, like a level one speaker, level three speaking fee, level five speaking fee. I wasn't really quite sure what that was. But then one of my early heroes and still a hero to this day is Tom Peters. And he's listed on the Washington Speakers Bureau website. And I saw Tom Peters, level six. I'm like, gosh, okay, what the heck is level six? And what the heck are these fee levels? And what I found, oh, by the way, Tom Peters in action, David Newman in action. It's pretty fun. Little found a little mental model uh, of my hero in action. And I just happen to have a uh, an action shot with the same fist going out in the audience with conviction, making some big exciting point and congratulating an audience member on nailing an answer. So that's uh, obviously you can see the resemblance of two old guys, one with hair and one with not much hair. But anyway, so what the heck is a fee level? What the heck is a fee level? Well, here's what I found buried in the Washington Speakers Bureau website is these are the fee levels. And because Tom Peters was level six, I knew he was at least $40,000 and up. And I did some more digging on a few other Speakers Bureau websites. And I found out that his speaking fee was actually $50,000. And I said to myself, oh my gosh, how can that possibly be $50,000 for an hour? How is that even in the realm of possibility? And then I started to unpack the value being delivered. And here's where we're going to unpack your value being delivered. Tom Peters typically speaks to groups of highly placed executives at global companies all over the world, usually 800 to 1,000 people in the audience. And I did the math. If he charges $50,000 and there's 1,000 people in the audience, that's about $50 of value delivered per person. Think about that. $50 per person. So if I'm an executive, I'm a leader, I'm a sales leader, I'm a mid-level executive, I'm in marketing, I'm in sales, I'm in R&D, I'm in manufacturing, I'm sitting in a Tom Peters seminar, am I going to get $50 of value to take back to my company? Am I going to get $50 of more innovation, $50 worth of new ideas? Am I going to be a better leader? Am I going to at least be a $50 better leader with the insights I'm learning from Tom? Will I be better at collaboration? Will I be getting $50 of ideas that I can use for my company to create smarter, better products, services, programs, and initiatives? Will I get $50 of value to build a stronger culture? Will I get $50 of value to go back to my company and help with employee engagement? Will I get $50 of value? Of course I will. Of course I will. And this was the giant, permanent mindset shift. And I'm going to use that $50 number as a reference point for you. But if you can deliver $50 of new ideas around anything and everything that you teach, Leadership, culture, presentation skills, health, wellness, personal finance, uh, motivation, inspiration, new ideas, collaboration, innovation, future technologies, uh, personal well-being, health, wellness, weight loss, uh, career management, all these different topics. 
Can you deliver $50 of value in a 30, 45 minute, 60 minute talk, one day training, whatever? If you can, I'm going to give you the permanent mindset shift that I received. Think of the average meeting size times $50. So local chapter of a trade and professional association might get 70 to 100 people. So on the low end, multiply that by 50, 3,500 to $5,000. A state association conference, 100 to 300 people in the audience, 5,000 to $15,000 of value delivered. National meeting, 200 people, 2,000 people, anywhere from $10,000 to $125,000 of value delivered. A small-scale conference, 150, 200 in the audience, $7,500 to $10,000. Medium-sized conference, 250 to $2,500. Again, $12,500 to $125,000. Don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying charge per person. I'm saying reset your mindset about the value that you deliver and your speaking fee is going to start to look pretty darn small when you start charging five, 10, 15 or $20,000. It's going to be the bargain of the century. So if you can deliver, and again, some people deliver a hundred dollars of new ideas, new value, new insights, new recommendations, uh, best practices, things that people can go back to their office and immediately start seeing results with employee engagement, employee retention, performance, sales, leadership, uh, recruiting, customer service, you name the topic. Can I deliver $100 of value in marketing? Yeah, frankly, I can deliver $1,000 in marketing value in an hour. How many people in the audience? 150. Great. Am I going to charge 150,000? No. I'm going to charge 10 or 15,000 and I'm going to know that I'm delivering 10 times, 10 times return on investment to that meeting planner, that conference producer or that audience. You are too. You are too because your permanent mindset shift has happened right here right now on this slide. It has happened right here, right now on this slide. Congratulations. You're, you are now transformed. You are never going to lowball your fee once you start to understand and integrate in your heart and gut and mind and soul the value that you deliver. Massive, permanent value that you deliver to every client, every audience, every time. Let me also tell you that there are no rules. People think, oh, I'm only limited to charging this. I have to charge that. Uh, you know, there's no rules. In fact, you set the rules. That's the beauty of being a thought leading entrepreneur is you totally set the rules. John Garrett came through our program. He says it's the best return on investment a recovering CPA could dream of. I was able to sell more speaking engagements to better clients and that consistently higher fees to the point of an 85% increase in income. I booked a $5,500 gig within five weeks of starting. Now, I want you to look at this language here. People might think when you start to charge more, there's a supply and demand curve, meaning the higher your fee, the fewer opportunities you'll get. But look at John's language. Sell more speaking engagements to better clients AKA different clients than he was knocking on the door of before. And at consistently, I love the C word. I love the C word of consistently, consistently higher fees. So it's not fees go up, quantity goes down. What John is saying, sell more speaking to better clients and at consistently higher fees. Because when you price yourself out of the broke market, you price yourself into the serious market. And people that would not have looked at you before because you were too cheap now start to look at you because now you are high value. High value equals high fee, low value equals low fee. That's just human nature, pricing psychology 101. Anytime you hear your fee is too high, here's three problems it's not. It's not about your fee. It's not about your program. It's not even about their budget. It's about their certainty that you can deliver value. 
So when you ask about money and you ask about outcomes and you ask about return on investment, specifically where they are and where they want to go, that is where the magic dialogue starts to happen. Here is the magic dialogue. Here is some of the exact scripting I want you to adopt. It's connective language, literally connecting where they are to where they want to go. So if they tell you they have an employee engagement problem or a retention problem or a recruiting problem, you say, well, the program that we're talking about, we're building a bridge to that high retention, high performing culture. We're on the road to getting you a much higher performing sales team. We're moving the needle towards higher performing leadership at every level in your company. When you start to use this literally connective language, it uses geography and time space, right? We're building a bridge to an outcome that they said they want. We're on the road to getting you an outcome that they said they want. We're moving the needle towards that result that they said is important to them or to their CEO or to their team, to their industry. As soon as you start building connective language, you are the bridge. You are the conduit that will get them from where they are to where they want to go. How much will they pay for that? They will pay a lot more than just quote unquote buying a speech, buying a training, buying a seminar, buying a workshop, buying a consulting program. They're really buying an outcome. So here's the exact scripting that you need to adopt. For the program that we just talked about that will improve, boost, create, reduce, slash, solve, fix, whatever they were complaining about, whatever you were able to uncover as far as their goals, heartaches, headaches, challenges, and gaps, and give your folks the exact strategies, mindset, and skill set to significantly move the needle on whatever results they said were the most important to you, to the team, to the association, to your CEO, to your shareholders, et cetera, the investment is only pop in your number. Literally, the investment is only 7,500. Boom, easy, done. Now, when I say boom, easy, done, I will sometimes actually add that on. I'm talking to a buyer, a literal buyer, and I will say for the program that we just talked about, that's gonna improve this, boost that, create this, reduce this, slash this, solve this, and permanently fix that so it's never a problem again. And give your folks the exact strategies, mindset, and skill set to significantly move the needle on their marketing, sales, and business development success. The investment is only X. Boom, easy, done. Do you wanna put that on a corporate card? Shall I send you an invoice? That's how I present the price. Do you wanna put that on a corporate card? Or should I send you an invoice? And when they go, oh, well, let, let's do an invoice. I'd say, great. Is there any reason you could not have that invoice processed by the end of this week? Is there any reason you could not have that invoice processed by the end of this week? That's how you get paid, my friends. That's how you present your fee. That's how you get your fee. That's how you short circuit any low balling, negotiating, price chipping away nonsense. That if I believe my program is worth $75,000, because it is, I'm going to charge them $7,500, knowing in my heart and soul and gut that it is a 10 times ROI, I'm, have, I'm going to have no problem and no hesitation in presenting my fee. And you are going to have no problem and no hesitation in presenting your fee. Susan Robertson came through our program. She, uh, the very first gig, she'd never really gotten paid to speak before. Very first gig she got was a $7,500 gig. And then a couple of weeks later, so about three weeks into the program, she got the $7,500 gig. About three weeks after we got this, um, she says, I got a speaking gig that I feel sure I never would have gotten if I weren't in your program. It's chock full of prime prospects. I would have done it for free, but instead I'm getting $3,500 plus a full-length video, plus personal introductions to people I target from their list, plus video testimonials. That's a huge win for me for something I would have normally done for free and probably wouldn't have even thought to try to get regardless, right? Not good enough, not smart enough. They probably won't hire me. They probably won't pick me. I'll have to do it for free. So literally from zero 
to $11,000 in six weeks. Now, here's a bonus tip. Always end your fee with $500. $7,500, for some strange reason, sounds less than $7,000. $9,500 sounds less than $9,000 because it ends in a $500. And $500 is a fun, frisky, perky, fun little number. It's only in the hundreds. Think about a cute little puppy. It's like, oh, look at the puppy. How much for the puppy? He's friendly. He's cute. He's only $2,500. 2500 for some strange reason, sounds less than $2,000 because you don't need to use the T word. You don't need to use the word thousand. You just say 2500 Boom. Easy. Done. Where, where shall I deliver the puppy? Where shall I deliver the cute little puppy with the cute little black nose? You just want to go boop, boop, boop. Look at that cute little black nose on this guy. Oh, my goodness. Easily worth 2500 Easily. So... Let's talk about the mindset reset. And again, we'll go to the question box for this one. Do you sometimes feel this way? That only super speakers can charge whatever that number is? Or I'm not ready to charge that much. Or hey, I'm just starting out. Gosh, I'm not a big name. I don't have a New York Times bestseller. I don't have a PhD. I don't have the right letters after my name. Gosh, I never charged more than X. How can I possibly start charging 55, 75, 9,500. If you've ever felt that way, just type a yes in the question box. Type a yes in the question box that, hey, you know, those big fees, that's for other people. I'm not ready. I'm just starting out. I'm not a big name, not a New York Times bestseller. I don't have a PhD. I never charge more than X. Let's see how this is going here. So, yes, 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 yes. We have one no. That's cool. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, because it's the perception of their worth. Great point. Lots of yeses. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, exactly. So an another no. Excellent. Yes. Only the super, super speakers can. Uh, Natalie says sometimes. So thank you, everyone, for chime chiming in here. Uh, Billy, John, Chris, Felicia, Victor, Laura, Teresa, Tim, Ken. Lewis, Brett, Cupid, Carlan, Michael, John, Patricia, Carol, Nick, Kat, Tony, Roger, Lori, Mike, Jane, uh, Marsha, and Laura. Cool. Now, oops, there we go. Uh, now, whatever that excuse is, whatever this excuse is, if you look at it honestly in the cold, hard, objective light of day based on everything I've shared with you, is that excuse true or false? that that's a good reason not to charge the full fee that you just determined is the fee that you really deserve. True or false? Are any of those valid reasons in your mind? Now that we've unpacked this, just type true or false in the question box. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll debunk this for most of us here. Whatever that excuse is or whatever that series of excuses is, when you look at it in the cold, hard, objective light of day, in light of everything I've shared with you, true or false? So Natalie, Durward, Victor, Mike, Roger, Marsha, Kat, we got a lot of falses here. False, false, false. Janice says that hers might be true. Um, Tony's false. Yeah, false, false, false. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, if you believe it, it will be true. Oh my gosh, Laura, so true. But we're trying to reprogram the beliefs and we're trying to reprogram that right here, right now. And then Teresa also chimes in with false. My excuses are false. Joanna says false. Exactly. Here's the biggest takeaway. People are either Timex or Rolex. And people buy who they are. This is true in a business-to-business -business sale. It's true in a business-to-consumer sale. It's how people are wired. If you start pricing yourself out of the broke market, you will price yourself into the premium market. Here's what's going to start to happen. What's going to start to happen is when you start not connecting with the Timex people and you make a concerted effort to connect with the Rolex people, you will turn off the freebie seekers, the, the people that I call freeple. Freeple! They want everything for free. You'll repel the cheaple. Well, can you come in for $500? Can you come in for $1,000? Can 
Our speaking budget's only $1,500. You will repel those people. You will start to say no to them. They will start to say no to you. And that's how it should be. Because now you will finally start to connect and attract your people. The ones that see the value, happily invest, happily repeat, recommend, and refer, and you'll finally be in the right spot. Tony Lucero had this experience. He was underpricing, undercharging, wrong charging. He says, long story short, I picked up two coaching clients totaling $32,400, and he had done hourly coaching previous to this. And I'm on retainer for 90 days at $10,000 per month with the company. The reason I'm telling you this is not to boast, blah, 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 but focus the, doing the activity that David outlines and focus on what I wanted to attract in my business that allowed the doors to be opened. And I said, love, love, love these results, energy, and momentum. Go, Tony. And then Tony down here at the bottom says, your program, David, made this possible. So literally, as soon as you price yourself out of the market you should never have been playing in, you start to price yourself into the market where people will pay more attention, they will pay more money, they will uh, have an increased level of respect for what you do, and they will have an increased level of value for what you deliver. Now, getting to 300K fast, which might be a goal for some people, you can multiply this by two or three or what have you. But if you, let's say your speaking fee is now 5K, and that's a low number for many people on this call, but you do two of those a month, that is 10,000 a month or 120,000 in the course of a year. You add two training days a month, also at 5,000. Now we're up to another $120,000 just in training. And let's say you have a coaching package that sells for $6,000. You only sell one of those a month. So six times 12 is 72,000. We said doctor money was 186,600. You are almost double that. Not quite, but almost. And that $312,000 doesn't even count repeat business, doesn't count referral business, doesn't count spin-off, book sales, product sales, sponsorship, licensing, none of it. It's simply two speeches a month, two training days a month, one coaching sale per month, and you're at 312. You don't want to do training? Great. Take training off. Now, 120 plus 72, you're at 192. You don't want to do coaching? Great. Let's focus on just the first two lines. 120 and 120, you're at 240. Multiply this by your fee, you know, four gigs a month, two speaking, two training, one alternative selection, coaching, consulting package, one-on-one -on -one mentoring, whatever it is you have in your toolkit. This is within reach. This is within reach for many, many people. Having seen that very simple math, are you now ready to raise your game? Let's declare it right here out in the open. Who is ready to up level from zero to hero? Hero to superhero, superhero to mega planetary rock star. Wherever you are, are you ready to move up one level, two levels, three levels? If so, put yes in the question box. If you are ready to raise your game, whatever that means, right? You're charging a thousand, let's go to 45, 50, 500. You're charging five, six, seven, let's go to 10. You're charging 10, let's move up to 12, 14, or 15. You're charging in the 15 to 20 range, let's bump that up. Let's get you to 17, 22, or 25. Whatever it is, are you ready to raise your game? And let's see who's ready. Let's see who's ready. Let's see who's ready. Looks like Joanna's ready. Mike, Jane, Lewis, Larry, Tony, April, Billy, Natalie, Victor, Lewis, Kleber, Roger, Tamara, Fred, Carol, Patricia, Kat, Carlan, Daniel, Teresa, uh, Marsha, Wayne, Janice, Steve, Praise Michael, Durward, Cupid, John, Corinne, uh, the other Michael, Nick, Lori, Eddie. Yes, 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 yes. Chris says, I was ready yesterday. I was ready yesterday, slick. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, well, let's get to our little walkthrough here. Then I want to pivot into our Q&A. Uh, basically, at this point, you've got a choice, of course. Uh, you can keep going the way that you were going before. I hope that you don't. I hope that you don't. Old results, doing okay, spinning your wheels, still not quite earning what you deserve at any level.
beginner, intermediate, mid-career speaker, advanced speaker, superstar speaker, and we have all of the above on this call. Uh, can't figure out the password to the secret club of experts who are making great money. And with no guidance and no structure and no support, that can be a hard, lonely road. So our Speaker Profit Blueprint program is a possible solution for you to get you the right positioning, packaging, and messaging, shift your fee mindset into high gear, so no more small potatoes thinking or doing. What a lot of folks said they're struggling with is finding the right prospects. And that is in the Speaker Profit Blueprint. Finding prospects willing, able, and expecting to pay premium fees. And you get a starter set of templates, tools, and scripts to help you make it happen. So I'll take you on a very quick tour, and then it's going to be Q&A time for all of your questions. Anything I can help with about today's teaching, I'm happy to do. So there are three core modules in the Speaker Profit Blueprint. Module one is called Seven Keys to Package, Position, and Promote Your Speaking Expertise. We're going to talk about honing in your expertise to become much more of a specialist, moving away from a generalist. Uh, three critical questions that will help you identify the hungry target market who is most ready to invest in all of your profit centers, speaking, seminars, consulting, coaching, etc., and how to start down the path of building your marketing language bank so that your articulation and distinction is dialed in. Module number two is five steps to target your best speaking leads specifically how to identify your most profitable prospects. No fluff. You're going to get real examples and a proven process that you can start to literally find an unlimited source of leads using Google, LinkedIn, and some other tools. The critical difference between lead generating and revenue generating speaking, how to do a competitive scan and really anchor your fee into what your marketplace value is by looking at what other folks that are in a comparable situation are charging, and then actual Google searches and other ninja tricks to surface a whole network of hidden speaking opportunities in front of profit-rich audiences. Third module is five templates to land more speaking gigs now, and you're going to get my LinkedIn strategy, email templates, phone scripts, and more, what to say and what to send in this process, why the right mindset comes before any outreach tactics that will ever be effective for you, how to wake up each morning knowing exactly where and how to spend your energy in terms of marketing, prospecting, and sales, and then how to use the referral strategy and the multiplier strategy to fill your calendar with highly targeted audiences of ideal buyers. So a couple of bonuses we're also throwing in. You're getting my speaking fee profit maximizer. You're getting a bonus workshop that is 100% about lead generation and prospect finding strategies, and you're getting my speaker outreach template power pack. And all of that is waiting for you at speakerprofitblueprint.com. The way the math works on this, the course is $247, bonus one is 49, bonus two is 97, bonus three is 47. Overall, that should be 440. We're giving that to you guys today for 47 bucks. 47 bucks. Let me repeat that, 47 bucks. So go to speakerprofitblueprint.com. That's active right now. We're going to go in our Q&A here, answer your questions as you're popping over there. But 47 bucks, that's kind of crazy. That's like really crazy, crazy, crazy. As a super bonus, we're also going to give you a private action planning consultation, which is personalized to you and your specific goals how you're going to apply that and get results, answer questions, remove obstacles for your exact situation. When I've done these sessions in the past, I charge $500. We have an amazing coaching team, of course, that works with us. When they do it, it's normally $297. We're giving you one of these at no charge when you invest in the Speaker Profit Blueprint program. So for you, it's going to be free. You also have a 100% money back guarantee. 30 days to go in, splash around, use everything that's in there uh, for any reason, any reason, 100% money back guarantee. You are totally covered. You are totally cool. I got your back. If you don't like the curriculum, if you don't like my sweater, if you don't like my voice, if you don't like my voice, you're going to have a problem uh, because you're going to get a lot of it in that program. 
Uh, and if you don't feel that this course is massively helpful, you are 100% covered. So 30 days to splash around in there. All the risk is on me. None of the risk is on you for a whopping grand total of 47 bucks. So as we're going to go into our Q&A right now, here's what to do. Take yourself over to speakerprofitblueprint.com. That's where to get access to all of this. You're getting 90% off. It's a $47 investment that you're making today in your speaking success. And you're getting a digital course on the exact step-by-step -step system on getting paid to speak. The bonuses, once again, speaking fee profit maximizer, advanced lead generation workshop, outreach template power pack, private one-on-one -on -one action planning consult with the team, and a 30-day 100% bulletproof money-back guarantee. So we're going to keep that going. I am here to answer any and all questions that you have about anything that we talked about today, any uh, wrinkle, any nuance about speaking fees, about how to claim your worth in the speaker expert marketplace, pop your question into the question box. And then I saw some questions come in earlier. I apologize because with all the interactive responses back and forth, some of those questions might have gotten scrolled off. So please feel free to type that question again. And we will just go through all the questions and I will answer answer as many as I see in here. So let's see, questions, questions, questions. Uh, Terry's question is, do the modules get into how to position our value? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So one of the things that you wanna absolutely avoid is what I call samo lamo speaker syndrome, where you look like, act like, and sound like every other speaker, every other consultant, every other expert that they've ever talked to. And uh, what you want to look for in there, Terry, is the positioning and the articulation of the value that you deliver. A lot of speakers, a lot of consultants, a lot of experts make the mistake of saying, well, here's what I do. And they talk about the input. They talk about the speech. They talk about the training outline. They talk about the curriculum. They talk about their book. No one cares about your training, your curriculum, your book, your speech outline, your one sheet. What they care about is what is that going to do to move the needle on the results that they're already looking to create? What is that going to do to move the needle on the problems they're already looking to solve? And one of the big mistakes that I see people make, which you're not going to make when you hop in here at speakerprofitblueprint.com, is you, you find yourself in a situation where you're making two sales. Sale number one, I have to sell you on the fact that you have a problem. And then sale number two is I now have to sell you again that I have the best solution. You never want to have to make two sales. You want to put yourself in the crosshairs of where they're already focusing attention on the problems they're already seeking to solve. And that's what I mean by positioning. Positioning literally means moving from a here's what I'm selling to here's what I'm solving. That's repositioning. Repositioning is what are the urgent, pervasive, expensive problems that you're already brilliant at solving that they already know they have, that they're already seeking solutions to. And another way to put this, Terry, is that you are putting yourself in the crosshairs of where they're already aiming and where they're already spending money, but they haven't cracked the code yet. They haven't really dialed in how to get that outcome. You show up, you are right in the bullseye of the exact problem that they're seeking to solve, and you've got a unique, distinct way to solve it and deliver those outcomes faster, better, cooler, smarter than anything they've seen before. That is the magic to positioning. That's the magic to positioning. All right. Um, Camille says, does this work for a newbie? Absolutely. Uh, in fact, it may even be, be more valuable. It's valuable to everybody, whether you're a brand new speaker, fresh off the boat, whether you're a mid-career speaker, whether you're a seasoned $15,000, $20,000 speaker, it's really valuable across the board. 
I would say if you've got nothing going on, this is a tremendous foundation. If you already have some things going on, it's going to be a question of upgrading, tweaking, tuning, revamping, and revising. And if you're a seasoned speaker or an advanced speaker and you're looking to shift or pivot, maybe a lot of your clients are retiring, maybe your pipeline has dried up, maybe the events that used to hire you over and over and over again are not doing so anymore, maybe you're finding yourself having to cave on the fees more often than you used to. So I always tell people, I said, listen, if you're a $5,000 speaker, your competition is not other $5,000 speakers. Sometimes it's a $15,000 speaker who's willing to do the gig for five. So you don't want to be on either side of that equation. You don't want to be the $5,000 speaker charging one thousand, nor do you want to be the $15,000 speaker that's caving on price down to five. So it would absolutely help you build a very, very strong foundation for the mid-career folks and the more advanced folks. It's going to be your checklist and your, your pre-flight uh, pre benchmark to make sure you're doing the fundamentals the right way. So great, great question. Um, yeah, Durwood says this is a one-time fee. It's totally a one-time fee. Yeah, this is not a membership. It's not an ongoing $47 a month for the rest of your life. This is a one-time $47 investment to get the Speaker Profit Blueprint program. Um, that's it. I mean, literally, it's kind of a no-brainer price, plus the bonuses, plus, 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 Speaking Fee Profit Maximizer, separate advanced lead generation workshop that focuses 100%. Whoever had those questions, about where do I find the leads? Where do I find the prospects? How do I find the people that can afford my fee? That's what bonus number two is all about. Outreach template power pack, how to reach out without sounding like a, a salesy peddler, how to do your homework before you reach out so that you've got relevant, immediately actionable um, solutions that they know that you've done your homework and that you're not just some goober coming across the transom going, hi, do you hire speakers? Hi, do you hire speakers? Hi, do you hire speakers? And then, of course, you get the one-on-one -on -one consult where we can help you figure out where you are, where you want to go, and some other resources that might be helpful for you. So, yeah, great question. It's absolutely a one-time fee. I know it seems too cheap, um, but it's a one-time fee. It's not a recurring thing. It's not a payment program. It's 47 bucks right here, right now. Um, all right, let's see. Man, Carlan has this huge question that I'm trying to read here. Uh, David, your materials are always genius. I've used your past materials to grow my consulting business and get paid what I'm worth. Now it's time to focus on the speaking side, which I've put on the back burner. I'm in once again. Fantastic. That wasn't a big, long question. It was a big, long, um, you're in. And Carlan, that's fantastic. That's awesome. Uh, John has a question. How long do we have access to the material for $47? Well, I thought to be fair, John, I would give you a dollar per minute. So you buy it now, you have access for the next 47 minutes, then we yank it away. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's lifetime access. So you keep that. That's now part of your professional toolkit. You can revisit, re-listen, refer to it. Um, that is unlocked for you uh, on a permanent basis. So again, there's no time-bound component here other than investing in it, which is 90% off what we should be charging. Uh, but you get that, you get that ongoing. Uh, we unlock the portal. You get the videos, the templates, the scripts, the bonuses. You get access to everything inside the portal. The Profit Maximizer, the Lead Gen Workshop. That you, pro you probably want to watch the Lead Gen Workshop at least two or three times. You want to watch the core training probably at least two or three times. The Outreach Template Power Pack, you're going to customize and tailor to each individual prospect to make it relevant and to make it trusted advisor outreach instead of weird, spammy, salesy outreach. And then you probably want to take advantage of that private one-on-one -on -one action planning consult sooner rather than later. But John, you get permanent access to this for the one-time fee of 47 bucks. And thank you for that question. Uh, Janice, same question. Is this fee recurring? It is not. It is not. It's a one-time, one-time fee. 
Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, Thomas has a question. My fee is $7,500 for speaking. I have an opportunity with a college client, not my usual client. I'm normally corporate, but it's my alma mater. Plus, they would like one workshop after the talk. They only have a budget of 5K. Is it okay? Well, so it's always okay. You know, this is what I mean about negotiate up and negotiate down. So we generally speak for one of three reasons, one of three payoffs. One is money, one is leads, and one is give back, right? So fee generating, revenue generating speaking, you want to get your full fee. Lead generating speaking, if you do it the right way in front of the right audience, you're not getting paid to speak, but you're getting paid because you spoke, because you're in a target rich audience and your next two, three, or four clients are hiding in that audience. The give back is things like a charity or a fundraiser or a foundation or your college where they're asking you to come back and there's some loyalty, there's some goodwill. Maybe there's even some spinoff business or some networking that you could do, but you get to decide. As long as you're anchored on the clear fee, and I love the way you started that question, Thomas. My fee is 7,500, period, end of sentence. My college, my alma mater, asked me to come back. It's a 5K fee. I want to give back. I want to do the networking. I want to raise my profile among the alumni or whatever it is. Your choice. But you can also equally say, my fee is $7,500. I want to serve this client more thoroughly and more completely. I want to do a webinar 30 days after. I want to give them a video series every week. And I want to upsell into that super duper package. Or I want to do a keynote on day one and then a deep dive masterclass on day two. My fee is normally $7,500. I'm happy to do the second day for $5,000. So now it's a two-day event for 12500 So this is what I mean by negotiate up. When you negotiate up, you add value, you add to the fee, and you serve your client more thoroughly, more completely, and you're of better service to them. So please always think in terms of negotiate up and down. Do not just think of the word negotiate as negotiate down. Because many times you have the opportunity to negotiate up, and they happily pay the extra fees. Happily. In fact, sometimes they didn't even know that you offered these additional things, and now you're expanding the value. We talked about the $50 to $100 multiplier of value. Imagine if you had a $200 multiplier of value or a $300 per person multiplier of value. Put me in front of 20 people, that's 6,000 extra dollars. I charge it because I know I'm worth it. And you would charge it because you know you're worth it. So please, always feel free to open up the negotiating both up and down. Up and down. All right, Darlene says, I am just getting started. Um, is this geared to my level? So I think we answered that already. The answer is yes, 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 and amen. For sure. Um, what other questions do we have here? Tony is in. That's fantastic. And um, who else? I've got some questions that were flying by here. Sorry for the typos. That's fine. All typos are forgiven. Um, Terry's question we answered. Nathan says, what types of organizations can accept 5K fees? Well, there's 80,000 nonprofit trade and professional associations in the United States. At the local level, you're probably not going to get paid a speaking fee. That might be more of a lead generating speech. But at the state level and the national level, almost every serious conference has at least a five or $10,000 fee for the opening keynote speaker, the closing keynote speaker. Sometimes you can get with a really big conference, you can get paid four, five, six thousand dollars for a breakout. Here's what's funny. At the same conference, and this has happened to me multiple times, and I've been on both ends of this dynamic I'm about to share with you. 
the speakers will be having like the speaker dinner or the speaker lunch or they're backstage networking, chatting with each other. One person is doing their program and they got paid 15000 Next person is in line, same room, same size program. They got paid 6000 Third person got paid nothing. So when you realize that you're in the same room, on the same stage, in the same venue as someone who got paid zero, someone else who got paid 6000 to be there, and someone who got paid 15000 to be there, you start to realize, wait a second, there's something wrong with the world. The $0 speaker was willing to take zero. The $6,000 speaker was willing to take six, and the $15,000 speaker was willing to take 15. So it's literally... Same stage, same venue, same conference. The speakers are networking backstage. Well, boy, you know, this is great to find a $6,000 gig. Whoa, you got paid $6,000? They, they're not paying me anything. They're not paying you anything. They're paying me fifteen dollars What's wrong with you? Different number left their mouth. My friends, the only difference there, and Nathan, this might be helpful to you, different number left their mouth. That is it. That's the only only, only difference. All right, let's see. Um, Jane says, what if I can't get to the program material for another 45 days? No problem. I would just pop in there, buy it now. It's going to be waiting for you whenever. Um, so there's no urgency in consuming the program. The only urgency is in buying the program at 90% off. So like I said, lifetime, evergreen access, one time, 47 bucks. That is it. That is it. Lori's saying, do fee quotes include flight and lodging or do you approach that separately? Generally, we approach that separately. So it's the speaking fee plus expenses. That's a negotiating point though. So if your fee is 7,500 and they're like, oh boy, you know, we usually just have a $6,500 budget or $6,500 maximum. Can you work with us? I'll say, tell you what. 6,500 uh, plus all the expenses. Let's make it a flat fee. Travel is a thousand bucks. So I'm normally 7,500 plus expenses. You could say I'm going to do $7,500 all in. No surprises, no invoices, no receipts. I'll cover everything. That might even be cheaper than your $6,500 speaker who's got the airfare and the food and the Uber and the ground transportation and whatever. So it's a negotiating point that you have at your disposal. And then Janice is asking lifetime access. So we talked about that. Um, uh, why? Oh, Tina, what a great question. Why do clients big and small still have the same speaker budgets from 15 years ago? I have no idea. I really have no idea, but I will tell you a $5,000 speaker in 2005 and a $10,000 speaker in 2005, many of them are still $5,000, $10,000 speakers today. And that's a problem because the buyer marketplace hasn't changed. But if your expertise has evolved, you should be raising your prices by 10 to 15% every 12 to 18 months. So you can have two speakers who are both $5,000 in 2005. Today, that one speaker might still be at $5,000 and the other speaker is at $12,500. Why? Because speaker number two consistently and incrementally raised their fees bit by bit. Their good clients went upstream with them. The low fee, cheap clients fell away and they captured more high-end business on the premium end. So let me close with this as you guys are I'm popping in here and I'm seeing these come in. This is great. When you go to speakerprofitblueprint.com, uh, you'll get the full packages on the screen here. Premium clients are not only willing to pay premium fees. They're not only able to pay premium fees. They are expecting to pay premium fees. Let me repeat that. Premium clients, the folks that you really want to work with, the corporations, associations, groups, and conferences that you really want to work with, they're not only willing to pay premium fees, able to pay premium fees, listen up, they're expecting to pay premium fees. And you will lose business if your pricing 
undermines your positioning as a true expert who speaks professionally. On that note, my friends, I'm going to cut you loose. We're going to keep this link open for the next little bit of time here, speakerprofitblueprint.com. Go there, get in on this. It's 90% off right here, right now. You're getting the full Speaker Profit Blueprint training, the Speaking Fee Profit Maximizer, the Advanced Lead Generation Workshop, the Outreach Template Power Pack, a private one-on-one -on -one action planning consultation with our team, 30-day unconditional 100% money back guarantee. Hop on that right now. I'll see you next time. Thanks for being on.